Hey guys, Jess Halleck here. Okay, I'm gonna show you the new fall. I have been telling you that we're gonna go over this and honestly, we've had the new fall for a while because we were trying it out before it was available. So, Lindsay was so stoked to try it because she has really short hair, believe it or not, and the fall would be perfect for her. So, I also was gonna demo it at the same time, but I figured it'd be a lot more helpful for you to see her putting it on just because that perspective is more relatable. You'll never really have someone put it on for you. So she's wearing a layered 14 inch and a fall. And we're gonna have her dismantle. Okay. <laughs> um, both of these started really blonde, um, basically because that's what we had in stock. Um, but every single fall that we get has to be custom colored, even at a minimum, just the root or glaze, just something because it has to be exactly to your hair. Um, and then I always cut them before I ship them out. So if we're going to be having it like a shorter length, then I'll have to cut it up quite a bit. If you're going to be blending it into a longer halo, then we'll keep it longer and just add some layers and maybe some texture, but they're really low maintenance. How often have you washed yours? Um, <laughs> I think the honest truth. Uh, I think twice. Okay. And that might be maybe once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I asked. Because since this isn't sitting like right, it's your the hair isn't attached to your scalp. It's not getting like greasy and no. gross from your scalp. So it's still a super low maintenance piece because when you're not wearing it, you just lay it out. Mm -hmm. And as long as you keep the product that's in here lightweight and not like heavy, heavy duty stuff, then it doesn't feel dirty. So it's just as low maintenance as a halo is for you. So I'm gonna have you start taking them off. Okay. So you can kind of see it's like sitting right here. I just, there's the four clips. So I just unclip it first. It's like the Oprah moment. I know, right? <laughs> the big reveal. Okay. And then, so there's the first clip. There's the second clip. I've done this once while I was driving and the car next to me was like, oh. <laughs> what, what is happening? happening? Like that's not normal in your life? <laughs> All right, there's the first part, so. There she is. There she is. Okay. And then, now, where's my wire for my halo? And generally I will clip the fall like right, I wear my wire farther back than I know Jess does, but I, I like mine to sit here. So I clip the fall like right in front of it. So she ain't going anywhere. My halo's not going anywhere. The fall's not going anywhere. She's locked in. She's, she's snug. All right. <laughs> just I know. So. It's just so deceiving. I you know. would never know. So this one is the 14 inch layered. Um, she wanted this one primarily because of how full it is on her side because you're going to see her hair is really short and really blunt on the sides so yeah so if i were if she were just to wear her fall mm -hmm. i would cut this closer within like mm, an inch ish of her length because if you have short hairs hanging out right here it's fine if it's about mm -hmm. this much of a difference or if your hair is really really thin at the ends it's not going to matter but if you have some weight at the bottom, then we want to take that into account. But knowing that she's going to blend it into her 14 and then she has a 22, which I will post a picture because you would never know. She was wearing a fall and a 22 inch and knowing that her hair is actually this short. So how comfortable is it? The fall? Yes. I mean, I wear it all day here at the salon and I wear it till I get home and then I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot like, I need to take this out. So they're super lightweight. Yeah. And if it's, if you ever have one on and you feel like it's pulling like a certain piece of hair, you just simply like unsnap it and just, you know, move it a little bit and you're good to go. These are, these are really secure clips, but if you just get the wrong hair put in there and then you, and you're feeling it, you just got to unclip it, probably clear it out and then re snap yeah. it back down. But the cap on this one, I have loved over, um, the first fall that they had because it's smaller. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed that people with really, really fine hair, like it's always been really thin, ironically have small heads. So if you want it to get a lot of coverage all <laughs> over, it's true. 
then you can keep it this way and the and the diameter of the cap is I feel like more realistic mm -hmm. to a smaller head shape yeah. but then if you have a bigger head like me I don't wear it this way I turn it this way because mm -hmm. I want a lot of coverage on the sides and a lot of volume and stuff so I turn it sideways and then just blow dry the part according to that and then that's how I wear it and I love that this lays very very flat to the head mm -hmm. so again if you're really thin it's going to be perfect i do recommend having at least a hairline in front of it um just so you can like pair that and she wears hers farther back but if she were yeah. to wear it closer to the front then you'd want to use a piece of your hair with the mm -hmm. fall hair to like curl it together um if you wear it straight primarily then I would be cutting in a lot of extra layers for you and then we'd be blow drying it like really fluffy because what makes toppers look not realistic is one, if the color is off, mm -hmm. um, and two, if they're not cut to where they have like breathable texture, you don't want it to be super sleek. That's not realistic. No one's hair is really like that. So when you get it, if you, if you need to put some like little bit of dry shampoo just because when they're fresh, they are silky and we gotta kind of like make them more lift in. Um, we also include a root spray. So any any fall or bang that you get, we include a root spray so that if, she's actually blonde naturally. Yeah, like very um, blonde. So when her root starts to come in, it'll look, it'll look can, like a gray or just, it'll stand yeah. out. You can see like right here, like this is where I've had some root spray back here. No, not so much. <laughs> not so much. So when you have this in, if you're, if you're needing to just make it perfect and you have a little bit of regrowth, um, then you can use the root spray and just like lightly mist your, your front part and then match it up with the fall or your bang and it will blend in perfectly, which she wears the bang all the time as well. So, okay, I'm gonna have you put them back on. Okay. Okay. All the things. Okay. And here's the root spray that we include. It's the Unite one. I love it because it doesn't transfer very easily and it has really great coverage without barely spraying any, but it comes in um, a dark brown, medium brown, light brown, and a red. Does it come in black? That's the black. It's like black. I think oh yeah, it's like dark, dark brown. brown. Yeah. So, uh, which I've used both. Yeah, um, there's always a color for anyone. Okay, so Halo first. Halo first. I've never done this through a camera day, so <laughs> totally bear with me. All right, I'm starting to come together. Come together. <laughs> like, oh, I know her. <laughs> Lindsay has quite a collection. I do. I'm the one that has the names for them. So today we are working with uh, Pamela yep. and Donna. <laughs> it's funny when people will drop off their halos if they're going to like have them serviced and they'll be like, okay, um, this is Brittany. <laughs> this is Ashley. Take good care of her. Yes. <laughs> I get it. Okay, so there's just the just her 14 just the 14 inch but she could just wear a 14 she wears just mm -hmm. a halo all the time or she'll wear her bang piece with her natural hair you have lots of options but i just want to show you this up close one more time before we put it on there's four clips it is an oval shape um you can wear it this way mm -hmm. or this way which i love and then here's the top it does have some mesh for a part line she sprayed her root spray on this a little bit otherwise yeah. <laughs> i'm like wait a second otherwise you would see more yeah. of a clear opening so if you're like oh i'm super thin i'm worried that that's not going to look realistic you can it, it has more of a, a part line so there she is okay yeah she is no and standard it, it, i think it sits at about a 14 inch length yeah. from root to end and then by the time i at least trim it it comes up just a little bit and then we add some layering um and then off of your pictures is how we'll decide if we need it to be even in, even shorter. So I start with the first clip there and I might get this on the first try and I might not. So just know that it is totally normal. If you put it in and you're like, okay, that's not sitting where I want it, then you can just kind of adjust them how you need. So you just, I literally just like kind of scoop it under there just like you do with the bang. The bang has the two clips, these the same thing. So just scoop it on the sides like this. Okay, and then you can see there's a little line right here. So I just grab comb. I just kind of push my bangs through. And I do, um, 
use the curling iron first and just curl like two pieces like so one here here and then right here everything else you're not going to see it because it's either smushed in between my halo and the fall so i don't even bother curling it so that when i put this in i just kind of do this fluff her out and that's that that's her and I do want to show you, if you were to wear um, just the fall, you can pull this back into a ponytail. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to pick up her halo at all. Um, but here, turn your head aside for a second. Mm -hmm. So it gives you a good amount of a ponytail. So if your hair is super fine and just wearing a fall would be plenty for you, um, then it's very easy to do. I just want to mm -hmm. show you how that works. And then I've also seen people pull their front pieces back yes. over it. And you can do like half ups or mohawk things and there's lots of options. The more that you work with it like it's your own hair, the happier you'll be feeling like it's something that you can you can do on your own. It's when you first get it and you're like, this it's it can be intimidating because it's so sleek and it's it's gonna go on top of your head, but put it on, start running your fingers through it, use a little bit of dry shampoo or some root spray and use your curling iron and just start playing with it. And it's really, really fun because they're so lightweight that you really don't feel it on your head. And even if you have very, very thin hair, mm -hmm. it's the same thing. Those those clips don't need much hair to, to um, secure them in. Um, but yeah, you can wear it a little forward, a little bit back. There's a lot of flexibility. So if this is your first time seeing the fall, um, I will put a link in the description where you can check out more info and fill out your information so that I can reach out to you directly. And we do all of this virtual, so I'll get a lot of pictures from you, um, talk about your hair, what your goals are, and then we can start customizing them here, and I ship them directly to you, which is very nice. And we have a team here to support if you have questions or just need help. Totally get it. So I hope that helps. This is a brand new piece. I'm also going to demo this on myself with my hair color and then probably get a blonde just so you can see it in different scenarios. But that's the gist of it. So I love it. It looks so good. I love her.